today. I'm going to go through installing the latest version of Awards and configuring it to run Apex applications. In the current release, release 22, the routine for doing this is very different from the routine with which we've been working for many years. There are many changes. On this slide, I've highlighted the ones that matter for Apex. Most obviously, the configuration has changed. It's changed completely. If you try to use the old method, you get errors. The configuration files have also changed. Not all of their contents, but their names and locations. And most noticeably, the connection pools are different. We used to have typically four connection pools per database connection. Apex public user for the PL SQL gateway, Apex listener and Apex REST public user for Apex RESTful services, and AUDS public user for the AUDS services. However, Apex RESTful services are now de-supported. That gets rid of two of the pools. Apex public user still exists in the database, but connections to it are now proxied from sessions connected as AUDS public user. So we have just the one pool used for everything. A final important difference, Java. AUDS 22 requires at least release 11. So do be careful with your licensing. It's a bit different than earlier releases. Configuring and deploying AUDS is completely different syntax now. And the documentation, I should say, is not very good. One interesting thing in the docs, they do imply a big push towards running AUDS standalone using the embedded Jetty container. And nearly all the examples are running AUDS standalone. However, in our experience, most people will want to deploy AUDS to a Tomcat server, which is what I'm going to demonstrate. So this is the routine I'm going to follow. Install Apex, configure AUDS, deploy to Tomcat. I've already installed Apex into a PDB, and I've already installed a Tomcat server. No changes there. So let's get on with AUDS. First off, I'll just create a directory that I'm going to work in, which can be u01jw.auds, change into it, and I'll unzip the auds zip file I downloaded previously. It's just unzipping it into the current directory. Then I need to create a configuration directory which will be u01jw.config.dir. Now, if I try to configure AUDS in the old way with java-jar auds.war, I'm going to get an error. As it tells me, in no uncertain terms, that that command has been deprecated. And what I need to run is the AUDS executable, which is in AUDS bin. So the first command I'm going to run will be this. bin AUDS minus minus config. 01 JW config DIR. So I'm telling it where to create the configuration files. And the install command is the one that will do just that. Uh, first prompt, I want to take option two to install in the database and create a connection pool. I'll use the basic mechanism to define the DAD, the database access descriptor, which is localhost, port 1521, and the service is labs1. That's just the PDB into which I have Apex installed. It'll need sysdba privileges, which doesn't have to be sys in the current release. Port 
password for Ord's public user. And this gets saved into a wallet. It is more secure than the previous mechanism. And option one to enable all the features. But I do not want to start and stand alone. So I shall skip at that point. And that's done the configuration. If we look at what it's actually done, we'll use 01JW, and then in the config DIR, we see a directory called databases. And that's where my connection pools are configured. At the moment, it's just the default pool, which includes a directory with a wallet, and that's where the auth public user password is. But also, it's got pool.xml. And there we see the database access descriptor, the username to log on with. And interestingly, PLC equal gateway mode proxied. That's the instruction to ORDS to connect as ORDS public user, but then for the PLC equal gateway, proxy to Apex public user. And this file you can edit as you would normally to configure whatever you might need to do. Then I need to deploy it to Tomcat. And that's an interesting command. What I have to do is create a war file to be deployed in which we've embedded the location of the configuration directory. And that's this command here, run the ORDS executable, telling it that's where my configuration data is, and the command war. And that says create a war file. Which war file? In Tomcat 9 web apps, jw.war. That file is going to be generated and embedded within it is the location of the configuration directory. So if I now look at my web apps directory, that has been created as of just a few seconds away. Tomcat is running, so it will pick up the deployment, the, there it is, it's picked up the fact the wall file has arrived and has deployed it. Just as a quick test, we can connect to the database of SQL Plus and see what we have in the way of connections. And there you see just the one connection pool. Default, only three sessions. And the final step, does it actually work in a browser? So going to the address of our machine, Tomcat's default listening port, and then the name of the war file I want to run as the root context. And there we are, done. There is, of course, much more. But what I hope I've done is show that even though much of what I've demoed is not properly documented, the changes are nothing to worry about. And they do provide utilities for assisting with the upgrade. In particular, converting any Apex RESTful services that you may still have towards, and also to migrate your old configuration directory files to the new structure. So it's all very different, but nothing too much to worry about. To conclude, we have no choice. Uncle Oracle has decided to make some changes to the way ORDS is configured. And we have to become familiar with how to do it from release 22 onwards. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.